come to awaken, ascend, and expand. We are grateful and thankful for everyone to be here. I am Pyphris B. Metatron. I am your hostess with the mostest. Today is a good damn day to be me. Yeah. You know what? Every day is a good damn day to be me. Like for y'all to, uh, uh, it's your choice. You can leave it on mute or we can have a homie the clown moment today. It's all up to y'all, but I want y'all to repeat it after me. Today is today a good damn day. It's a good damn day. To be me. To be me. No, wait. Every day. Every day. Is a good damn day. Is a good damn day. To be me. To be me. Be it. Believe it. Live it. <laughs> and demand it back from everyone you come into contact with. It will exponentially improve your life each and every day. I, I wake up every day and I say that. I go look in that mirror in there and I say that over and over and over and over till the mirror winks, till the, till the one in the mirror. Y'all ever stand in the mirror long enough until dude in the mirror becomes dude in the mirror instead of you reflecting back yeah mirror work mirror work mm -hmm. we're gonna get uh into that when i start talking about chakras and chakra health and alignment um uh, later on uh in the spring uh but yes mirror 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 work uh it, first time that 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 partner in the in the mirror break away yeah it's, it's gonna shock your ass it really will in a good way but it it will shock you um and it's something that each and every one of us needs uh frequently you know sometimes i, I don't have to stand too long for partner to you know, let me know what's up. So we will get into mirror work, uh, like I said, later on in the spring. So that's another reason to hang out with On the Sevens with Pyphers B Metatron, because we're doing big shit this year. I'm in a personal eight year. I am in a personal eight year. Eight is the number of expansion authority, power, executive ability. Yeah, I am determinedly penetrating my desired area of expertise in this vocation. I'm 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 going to I'm not just going to drop a pebble in the water. I'm I'm going to chase all the damn water out the lake. It's going to be dry when I drop down. Uh because it's an eight year, I'm, I am supposed to expand on every level in an eight year. If you do not expand on every level in your eight year, something is wrong. Something is very, very wrong. Miss Kane, what is creepy? Talk to us. Um, staring at yourself in the mirror yes. long enough, and then um, you realize you're looking back at yourself. Yes, but not like normally how you just look in the mirror. Yeah, it's it's, it's like when you sit there and you stare deep into your eyes and to your soul. It's like you see something else there that you're not always aware of every time you look in the mirror. Absolutely, absolutely. And you and activate you activate the soul picture of you, not just your reflection. There's a difference. The when you initially go into the mirror, all you're seeing is your reflection. You just see right. the opposite side, you know, you raise your left hand and the right one in the mirror raises. <clears throat> when you stand there long enough and get the soul picture then you raise your left hand and the left hand goes up in the mirror yeah yeah 
Yeah, and that's the whole yeah. And, and the first time you do that, you didn't think you high as hell because I sure <laughs> thought I was high as hell. And I, and I, it took me a minute to be like, wait, no, I ain't even did nothing yet. It's early in the morning. I did shit yet. So yeah. the first, the very first time, yeah, it was really creepy. Uh, had me, had me, uh, you know, when I raised up my hand and the same hand raised up and I ducked up under the cabinet. <laughs> and then I peeped my head back up and my, he was looking at me like, what, man, what? Come here. I'm there uh, all along. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a very uh, expansive and a, and uh, uh awakening uh situation and you know once once that happens you are no longer afraid of yourself once that happens once that happens you you yeah something in you just clicks and you're like oh all right all right all right um i wanted to to uh um, pay my respects to a couple of folks. Um, um, my grandmother's cousin's son, uh, Richard Henderson, uh, passed away in Tulare, California. Um, I don't know how old he was. He was probably in his 70s, late 60s, early 70s, I believe. Um, um, I learned a lot uh, from uh, Mr. Richard Henderson uh, in Opal Brown's garage, uh, learning how to upholster furniture. Uh, he taught me some things uh, that were invaluable and skill that I still have today. If I if I need to cover a chair, now it ain't gonna look like the ones you're gonna get in a IKEA. But however, uh, I can put a cover on a chair and and that. And then um, someone really, really dear to me, <clears throat> uh, been battling. Uh, with lung cancer for the better part of 20 years. Um, staying in a, a assisted living facility uh, on Friday, uh, they transferred him uh, to a hospice waiting for his granddaughter to get here yesterday. She was gonna take him back home and they were going to care for him back at home. Uh, she got here yesterday. She walked into the room. She asked him if he was ready to go. He said, yep. She turned around. She put her phone in the purse, put her purse on the table, took her coat off, went in the bathroom, washed her hands, came back out, and G was out he was out uh he said deuces yeah um he had a piece of paper in his hand and on the paper uh, it had my phone number and it said call mark and let him know and when i got the call uh i got the call yesterday and i was smiling yeah, it's it's tough because this was a, a good cat and and uh, just a overall good guy. Uh, learned a lot from him. He, you know, it was an equal exchange of energy. Just a really, really, really good guy. And for him to be able to call his shot like that, that's a G. I mean. He would, when she said, she said, yeah, I asked him uh, if he was ready to go. And he said, yep. And when I came back out the bathroom, he was dead. I was like, yeah, that's, that's G. Yeah, he, he was not, he, he told me the other day, man, he was not thrilled about none of it. And G 
took care of all of his arrangements, the the casket going back home, the few, the burial, all of it. He took care of all of it. All of it. So that's something to aspire to, not just how he handled the ending, but that showed me how he handled everything up until the ending. And that's something to aspire to, just to be that type of man. He constantly was a reminder to me of what I was lacking. Things that I needed to be more complete. And for that, I'm grateful. G, this one is for you, G. I know I'm not supposed to, but this one's for you. I told him I was going to roll. I had a big fatty and, and I told him if I drank, I would have some scotch, but I'm not fooling with that no mo. So I rolled up a big, uh, it, it was uh, uh, at least six grams. <laughs> <laughs> and I was done after that. So I would like to, day class going to be short. Because, yeah, I would like to talk about, <clears throat> uh, oh, before we get into the class, I'm going to open the floor for anyone that is uh, experiencing or has experienced uh, anything of that nature or anyone that, that has any words of encouragement or condolences for G's family. Or, or the Henderson's family in Tulare, California. Yeah, I would definitely like to send my condolences to both families. It's a beautiful story. Absolutely. Same here. Amazing that he was able to call his own shot. Man, I'm telling you, if that ain't a G. Yeah. And found out on Friday when they uh, transferred him, He's been lying to everybody. He's 10 years older than he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> he was a whole 10 years older than he was telling people. I was like, really? He was like, he just did like this. Hey, hey, hey. You know, so uh, yeah, I, I, I am better for knowing him. And uh, I. it is my goal to uh, to emulate that. I want to, I want folks to be able to say that they are better for knowing me. He, he, yeah, I am a better man today for knowing G. So that's, that's my, my aspiration. I, I want someone to be able to say that they're a better man or a better woman for knowing me. So uh, hats off to you, G. Hats off to you, uh, Richard Henderson. Yeah. Travel well. All right. Master Self Numerology, Planes of Expression by the Numbers. This is January 11th, 2022, our regular 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time meeting. Uh, we're going to start with plane number one. So if you have number one, if you have a one, one on the physical, one on the mental, one on the emotional, one on the intuitive, um, it is a mental number on every plane. See, I'm, I'm taking us a little deeper into the into the uh, esoterics of the numbers. I'm not just gonna give you what it is. One is a mental number on every plane. Every plane, it, 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 is, it, is, it is influenced by the mind. It's influenced by the mind. It is a mental uh, uh, number. 
Number one on any plan gives tremendous inspiration and success through your endeavors that ignite your exuberance and feelings of adventure. Number one on any plane is challenged by obstacles. Cause you know, one is a leader. One is like this, I'm first. One normally is nothing in front of a one. If you look at the, if you think about the nature of each number, think about, think about the nature of the number, not just how it looks and what its value is, but look at the nature. So we're going one to nine. So if one is first, there is nothing in front of it. There's, there's obstacles. There's nothing. There's, there, there are no obstacles in the nature of the one. Cause I'm first. I'm, 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 yeah, ain't nobody else here. Just me. There's no obstacles. So on any plane, on any of these planes, if you have a one on any of these planes, any obstacles that come up are going to challenge you because the nature of the one is freedom. There's nothing, not, no, no, nothing inhibiting the one. Nothing. is uh, number one on any plane is very independent individualized and innovative in the personal and business situations association and endeavors and your personal life comings and goings just the ways and means of your life how your how your how your day goes how 24 hours of one day goes. I have an exercise that I, that I use uh, in my um, 88 Steps to Your Mastered Self online course in my book. Um, I, I give a piece of it away uh, to y'all today. Get you a piece of lined paper like this. From, from school days it's got lines in it and the holes and I know you can't hardly see it but yeah get you some lined paper and put start at 12 a.m at the top and then skip two lines and put 1 a.m skip two lines 2 a.m go all the way through and then the first thing you do is block out the time that you normally sleep. Like for me, it's 8, 8.30, sometime 9 o'clock. If I stay up past 9, somebody's sick or, yeah, it's a really good show on. Uh, but normally about 8, 8.15, 8.30, I'm shutting it down, man. And about 3.30, 4 o'clock every morning, I'm bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. So I would block mine off from 8.30 to 4 a.m. That's when I sleep. And then from the time that you get up until you go to bed, write down everything you do. Everything. Brush your teeth, take a pit. I'm everything. Cook my breakfast, everything. I'll write down each and everything that you do. Because it shows you first, it shows you the volume of activity that goes on for each of us each and every day. You know, some folks say, oh, man, I don't have nothing to do. And if you write down all that shit that you do every day, you'll be like, wow. So it shows you the volume of, of what you do. But even more importantly, and I think y'all know where I'm going with this, it shows you where you are wasting time. Do, that for, do it for seven days, just seven days. 
not 88, 88 days. Woo, it's going to, you'll change your life. Do it for seven days. Get that piece of paper, get you seven of them, get that, get those papers and just write down and you, you're going to, th this is the cool part about this exercise. What you write down day one. Yeah. Some of that shit you ain't going to be doing on day seven. You can be like, what? Yeah. Yeah. And we will be surprised what the biggest zappers or thieves of our time is. We'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. So um, uh, one on any plane gives tremendous inspiration. You know, one is the, hey. And as long as they can feel exuberant and feel like they're in front of an adventure, yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll be on fire. Uh, Number one on any plane gives strong likes and dislikes and strong desires to live according to your own personal moral code. Just knowing the nature of, of the one. Uh, uh, and if we know anybody that has a lot of ones in their name, or, or over intensification of one, you know, they are strong and they likes and dislikes. They just not, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you can say whatever you want to the one, but the one is going to do what they're going to do because they're first. There's no one to chastise the one. There's no one to measure against the one. The one don't have nobody to measure against. <laughs> no one to measure against number one on any plane gives charm wit and motivation as well as the tendency to rush into things and the tendency to be easily bored and <laughs> The tendency to soon tire of situations, associations, and endeavors. You know, the one is the king and queen of bounce, rock, skate, roll. Even if she's going good, the one will, 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 will shake up the establishment. Yes, Miss Kane. Um, so my mom is an eleven. But when I read the two about her, the two didn't make any sense. And then come to find out Sylvia Marie Adams in itself has a lot of ones in it. Yep. And then her name, and I think I think her name is the one, but she has ones all throughout her chart. Over and my dad, mm -hmm. yeah, my dad was a 38, 35, 8. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, them two just yeah, ones <laughs> and eight. No <laughs> ones and eight. One's they eight and no seven. Together. <laughs> yeah, man, it's 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 it's, it's a, a a cool mix. When it's good, it's good, but when it's not, oh, because neither one, the one or the eight, neither one of them are going back down. Man, I used to be like they were getting to these like really just diehard arguments. And we used to beg mama, just please just be quiet. No, nah, F that you can't tell me to shut up, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you Lord. definitely <laughs> not telling a look, you definitely not telling a Sylvia 25-7. No. No, she's not having it. Uh -uh. No. She's not having it. Mm -mm. No. And they uh, were Aries and Leos. <laughs> ooh, yeah. ooh, that was that was fire, uh, fire in in a, a can of gasoline already. Yeah, I was about to say that was an explosion. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank y'all for that. Um, yeah, yeah, they the 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 one on any plane, uh, especially on the physical. Yeah, they. Uh, one on the physical is the heroes that run into burning buildings to snatch people out. That's a one or an eight on the physical. They just, uh, da -da. 
Yeah, seven, the, the seven, or if you got any seven energy, you're going to be back filming this shit, talking about, yeah, I'm going to capture this and make sure everybody know what happened. I'm not running. Uh, no, my daredevil shit is risking my own life. I'm not running. No, no, I, no, no. I, I, I'm grateful for the ones and eights, the heroes. Uh, but they all, you also need somebody to record their story for posterity. That's the seven. I'll I'll be the recorder. Sure will. Uh, number one on any plane gives a path to leadership and positions of authority and importance and attracts good financial happenings. Um, um, most ones, um, only reason why they're not filthy rich is because they understand that they got to pay for their journey along the way. Um, uh, and, and because they rush into shit and get easily bored, they waste money just on, on something that they call a hobby and yeah, a hundred thousand dollars later, oh, I'm tired of that. What, what do you mean? You're tired of it. Yeah. One will, yeah. Cause the money doesn't matter to the one because money is attracted. Financial happenings are attracted to the one and to the eight one and the eight the one and they attract that those financial happenings with determination and insight number one on any plane leads to accomplishment ones can accomplish a lot however number one on any plane can cause them to clean to and hold on the personal uh, uh, plans and never settle for subordinate positions too long. Um, one does lead to, to accomplishment, but we're gonna see here, um, sometimes it's not good to have that one uh, especially on the physical. Now, I, I started talking about the heroic um, um, uh, attributes uh, of somebody with one on the, on the uh, physical. If you have one on the physical, you are tremendously active, vibrant, and alive. There, people that have one on the physical, when they walk by you, you feel that shit. You know, you, you, it's a vibration. The ones and the eights, they got a vibration that you just, you know it when, when, they, when they walk by. The one is more subtle. The eight almost will knock you over, man. They will knock you over. If you know about it and pay attention, the, yeah, the, it is very, very powerful. Uh, one on the physical is tremendously active, vibrant, and alive. Um, it is outgoing and very personable. Um, one on the physical starts many things, however, they rarely finish any of them. Um, because they they bored easy, they quick change artists. Um, one on the physical loses interest quickly, regardless of the plan or endeavor. Um, one on the physical can be leaders, movers, and shakers. Um and they will work extremely hard to achieve a desired result. One on the physical is most original, authentic, and capable. Any of us on the call got only one, uh, one on any plane? I got two on the, on the mental and two on the emotional, uh, six, two, two, four, yeah. Nobody. All right. All right. Mento. Any questions about uh, one on uh, physical plane? Number one. All right. All right. On the mental plane, one on the mental plane, uh, folks with one on the mental plane, they're very original in thought and cold deductive reasoning. They, yeah, they are like a steel trap as far as, as putting shit together. Um, they are very mentally agile and quick in response to any and all situations. 
uh, and changing conditions, albeit good, bad, ugly, and unexpected. Um, they just be, they're just cool. One on the mental is just, doesn't matter what's happening, they can, one on the mental possesses tremendous wit and mental dexterity. Uh, very fast off the fly. Um, probably don't want to uh, debate a one on the mental. Because uh, they're quick, 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 quick. If they have, yeah, they quick, quick, quick. Any questions about one on the mental? <clears throat> All right. One on the emotional. One on the emotional, they very changeable, original, and they can mix with everybody. They can they can uh, uh, mix with royalty, and they can hang out, you know, with less than desirables. Uh, can ones on the emotional can experience all levels of life and living from the basement to the penthouse? Yeah. Uh, they can be extremely nervous and high strung. Uh, and, and ones on the emotional, they are very demanding in intimate relationships, partnerships, and marriage. Yeah, one, ones on the emotional, they be the ones that have them have an have a outburst, bang. Then nothing for a long time. Mm -hmm. Got to watch, watch out for uh, uh, ones on the emotional. Uh, offline, I will share with y'all um, what is significant about a person with one on the emotional. I won't say it on the call but i'll share it with each of you that is here jolene sharon and miss kane i'll share it with you after the call uh, any comments about one on the emotional very high strung very nervous yeah yeah very demanding <laughs> in intimate relationship partnerships and marriage all right and lastly for today <clears throat> One on the intuitive. Um, one on the intuitive possesses great inspiration and insight. Uh, ideas arrive with breakneck speed and precision to uh, to a person with one on the intuitive. Uh, and that's all you need to, to have more than average intuition and more than average uh, connection with spirituality all you need is one number one intuitive number in your chart and yeah you'll be fine uh, one on the intuitive can be stubborn and hard to move spiritually because they have very fixed religious or spiritual beliefs stances and practices if you meet somebody that's one on the uh, intuitive, um, yeah, they're fixed. And you can uh, uh, sing till the cows come home about this great new something. And yeah, no, they just will not budge at all. Not at all. Not at all. Um, and again, <clears throat> when we are talking about any number i want us to practice getting into the nature of the number so let me let, let's talk a little bit about the 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 nature of the number one. First of all number one is extremely confident Look how it stands. Head is always held high, exceptionally high. Number one, 
what you see with the number one is what you get. Nothing hidden. There ain't no curve. There ain't no. Most number ones are, you got it, straight shooters. Yeah. They give you, they'll give it to you straight. Um, the nature of number one is to do, not to ask. You guys, you guys understand what I mean by that? The one is the leader. The one is by, like I said, the one is first. The one don't have no number in front of it. It can look at to even gauge anything. The no, one is setting the, one is the pathfinder. One is the trailblazer. So the one is not going to ask too much of nothing. <clears throat> I had a friend uh, back in Long Beach about mm, 10, about 15, 20 years ago, uh, named his daughter and she had in the total chart, total just numerology chart, all the different positions, she had 25 ones in her chart. He asked me and, 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 and my guru that I was studying under uh, at the time uh, what we both thought. And we both almost jumped out of our chair. I said, you're not going to be able to tell her shit. <laughs> she going to be running things. She, he was like, she already is. I'm like, yeah, she got 25 ones. No, it wasn't. It wasn't intentional. Mm -mm. Not at all. It was not intentional. Uh, it was it was ratchet. That's what it was. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to name the names of the folks, but yeah, it was, it was uh, along the lines of, you know, how, how some of our people will name our kids after cars or, or Panadol or Midol and Tylenol and, and yeah, yeah, it was one of, it was something like that. And uh, she had 25 ones in her chart. And yeah, we both told her, yeah, you, you might want to lead her to get her into uh, college and, and whatever you want her to go to a, a master's program all the way up the line, because with 25 ones, she is a leader, but she need to have something where she can sit her ass down because ain't nobody going to be able to tell her nothing. Not her mama, her daddy, not a man, not a boss, not, not nothing. So uh, look at the look at the one. Those of us, each of us probably got a one in our name. I'm looking at one there. Oh, not you, Jolene. I'm looking at one. Yeah, we got ones in our name. Look at the letter A. See how it comes to a point, got a bridge, and then two sticks in the ground? Push an A over. Yeah. Go, go get, go, go get smart with Andrew. Go say something wrong to Annie and see what happens. The A, you, not you, the A can withstand the water come, it'll just go right down the sides. Storm come, feet in the ground. can't push it over can't you can't one the nature of the one is i'm here and i'm leading this shit everybody else follow me i got y'all i'm gonna blaze the trail i'm gonna find the path look at your own names and see see where the ones are look at your a's j's and s's and see how many of them you have. I got one, Jeff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And one is enough. One is enough. <laughs> and your one, your one mixes with a six. Mm -hmm. So your six, yours are straight. No chaser seven, hun. <laughs> mm -hmm. You straight no chaser, yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. The the J, the J is is a little unstable because you can only take so much water in your little cup right there and then they'll tip over. That's right. So <laughs> it's important that. that you look at the letter that's behind the J. Oh, then it's an O. O is O. Well, you put the little O on the screen, but O as a letter, uh, O is not going anywhere. O okay. is a big old circle. O is like, yeah, okay, I got you. Okay. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look at the, uh, look at the letter. Mm -hmm. Look at the contour of the letters. Wow. The S, the S really needs a wall next to it. That's why there's an H right there. You have you have much more stability mm. than a Sarah with a S A R A. Oh, Sharon, wow. you have much more stability because if the wind come and blow your S, oh, it's just gonna hit right on the top of the H, and the H is like I got you. So, yeah, much more stability. Yeah, much more. Mm -hmm. So the nature of these, uh, you have to make the connections and go deeper than just one is equal, is the value of one and that's it. No, no. One is a leader. One is, is uh, one, one doesn't ask. Mm -mm. One just goes, goes. Mm -hmm. One goes. Thus, now, as we lean into number two, thus you see the need for balance with the number two. The number two come in and look at the one and like, whoa, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Come halfway back so I can meet you. Damn, you way out there. And then look at the two. The two is cool. Long as you don't be trying to put a bunch of water up in the top. The two is cool. The two can withstand things. The three, ooh, we, there we go. The three, the three is lucky to be in between the two and the four. <laughs> the four got a stick in the ground. Two have a base on the ground. The three, la la la. Ha. Look at the way the three is made. Shoop, shoop, half of an eight. Just think about it like that. An eight cut in half. <laughs> that three, that three don't know where they're going, man. Three is everywhere. Three is just like la 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 la. Four, fortress is stuck in the ground. Bam. Five is stable, but the five has. You remember the cartoon we used to watch and the wheels used to, that's how the five is built. The five is on the go. Six is kicked back and, and six is like a lawnmower. If you don't watch out, it'll roll right over you. The seven is a sickle and it's stuck in the ground. It'll give you shade if you cool. If not, I'll take it up and turn it around and chop your neck. <laughs> Coco Basso. That's what I call a Coco yep. Basso. The eight are two interconnected curves. No matter how you, no matter how you put them, if you put them this way, like they are in the logo, they energize themselves. They keep each other energized, so they never stop moving. If you turn them down on uh, where where they're on the ground, then it becomes a, a motor. They're motorized. They just. Mm -hmm. And then the nine, Ooh, the nine is like, can't touch this because it's enclosed. Nothing can touch the nine. So we're going to get into the, the nature of these numbers and that way we'll get a better understanding into our own selves. You know what I mean? We get a better understanding in our own selves. We'll, we'll, you know, my middle name, 28, 10, one. Ah, yeah, I rush. Yeah, I don't ask. I do. 
I'm 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 blessed because I have balance and my industry balance and my power balance and my authority the two balance harmony mediation compromise the eight power authority executive ability determination expansion I have a two and an eight that make up my 10-1 I'm pushy but I'm nice pushy you know I'm not uh uh uh, I'm an almost asshole. Almost. Almost. Absolutely. I, I, and I own it. I, I own it. I own it. So, uh, and, and that is because I truly, truly know myself. I truly, truly do. So, uh, for, for anybody that doesn't know, first, uh, exposure to numerology i was eight or nine years old and i've been hooked and read every book i could ever find on it since i guarantee i've read 60 70 plus books just on numerology just on numbers not all of them were 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 written numerology like i'm doing but just on numbers they're fascinated with numbers and and the amounts of things since i was a kid i used to be able to uh, fill my hand up with coins and hold my hand out and within about 10 or 15 cents i could tell you how much i had in my hand because it's by weight i could tell my weight they're just weird shit like that i've just been weird like that my whole life uh i've mm -hmm. been fascinated with 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 in the beginning, when I got into the esoterics, you know, the astrology, numerology, and the card sciences, it was so that I could find where I fit. Because I never felt like I fucking fit in nowhere. Never felt like I fit in uh, with my family in, in Tulare. Never fit in with any specific group. Like in high school, I wasn't with nobody in particular. Uh, and once I got uh, okay with being the loner, then things started to change for me. But yeah, yeah, I got into esoteric so that I could figure out what was it about me that didn't fit with this group or that group or this group or these people or those people or that. And what I found out is... I don't fit. And neither do anybody else on this call. None of y'all fit. Do you? Which one of y'all fit in, in, in the family? Who? Or, or, or is this a call of all the black sheep? Definitely, black sheep. definitely the black sheep in the family. The only weirdo that studied the cult. Esoteric information. So yeah. Yep. I don't think I'm the black sheep. I think um I've always wanted to be left alone, you know. I just never, you know, I was never the, the people put me in the center of attention, but I never wanted to be. My name will pop up. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got but you. you know what, in respect to what we were talking about last week, the intuition, mm -hmm. I was, I was uh, thinking about my sister who lives out of state. And it's a good thing I called her because, you know, Karen's, little Karen's, little white Karen's, mm -hmm. was tackling my sister. And it's a good thing I was on the phone and I heard her. And then I stayed on the phone and then the, the Miss Karen sent a police to my sister. Mm. So it's a good thing we stayed on the phone because you just never know. Mm. So I, was that. I was like, what's up with the police? You know, and then um I called her and yeah, it's no no more than two minutes, some Karen walked up and wow. gave a different story than what she was doing. So it's a it's a good thing I was so I could hear her demeanor and all that stuff. So you you know, I did wanna wanna uh mention uh the other day that since we have turned the calendar to 2022. Um, 
we can expect folks to be turned up for real. I'm, I'm, I don't know any nicer way to say it. Folks are fucking turned up all yeah. over this country right now. Yeah, you know why? I don't want to get into it. No, no we're not why. talking none of that. I, yeah, I have yeah. an idea why. Yeah, but folks are turned up. Folks are turned up. Uh, cosmically, um, there are some things that are going on in the cosmos that got folks turned up. Uh, um, there are other contributing factors that have people turned up. And uh, so I want to encourage all of y'all everybody here live on zoom live on on the book live on my radio show and anybody watching this replay stay y'all's asses safe and secure yes sharon yeah we definitely turned up when you can choke out your girlfriend of 10 years yes for a video game. over a video game <laughs> yeah brother, that, that's brother brother man uh uh choked out it wasn't his girlfriend though it was his oh, boyfriend it, wasn't his friend. it was his boyfriend uh-oh yeah but either way either, either way, way it's abuse yeah, either, well, either way, it's murder. I mean, uh, murder. yeah, and, and either way, that they're they were both 24, 25, something like that. Again, that just proves my point again that the these folks under 36, a lot of them don't have uh 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 That's dispute common. resolution skills, they want to kill, they want to shoot you, or they want to kill you, man. They don't nobody don't want to talk no. about shit is mm -hmm. No, they don't handle rejection. They don't. They don't have. Oh, oh. And they don't. They have, don't have the stamina to even figure it out. Mm -mm. And they not. They not. They not thinking about. Uh, oh well, there's there's more fish in the sea. No, nope. bing. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. It, it's it, it's mind boggling. I I you know I have some independent. Uh, new sources that aren't politically biased or politically motivated. And I, I uh, go through uh, uh, their headlines and some of the stuff, I just be like, oh, brother. Oh, I mean, uh, uh, baby died from uh, exposure to meth. And the daddy told the cops, oh, well, probably got on him because it was on my hands. Do you know how much fucking meth you have to be dealing with to have that shit on your hands like that to get into a baby sister to kill him? Yeah. Just crazy shit. Mm. And you know, everybody, remember I was telling you that guy was, he spit it out, you know, washing his mouth in my sink and everybody's telling me, oh, there's not, a, you know, there's not a lot of men out there. You should, you know, different and you know, childhood, and you shouldn't, you know, not pay, pay too much mind. I said, if he's going to give me a headache once, he'll yep. give me a headache twice. Well, and I, jo don't, I don't want it. Jolene, so, Jolene, yeah. next, next, next one of your girlfriends or one of them females tell you that you're being too rough and that, that uh, should give him a chance, give her his number. Exactly. <laughs> Say exactly. you go ahead and call him, girl. You can this have him. To, to me, I can't. I can't. And I saw him afterwards. It's just it changed the whole dynamic. Look, look. There are pet peeves and there are things about uh, ourselves that, unless we are open, honest, and transparent, hot about it and have discussions about it. See, that could have been something that could have been avoided um, had y'all had a had a chance to talk about it, but you can't anticipate that somebody's going to wash their mouth out in your kitchen sink. You can't. That's just something that... You know, I'm a cool <laughs> cat. I'm a, I'm a... Jolene, I'm a really cool cat. However, I think if somebody did that in my kitchen, oh my gosh, they, they would have to leave like right then. Yep. 
like yeah. right then. And, yeah. and I'm not explaining anything. I'm just like, you got to go. You got to go. It's disgusting. And yeah, I can't. I, I don't yeah. have the tolerance for it. I mean, you could have went in the bathroom and closed the door. And yeah, you could have did what you needed to do. But right here, really? You You're go. that comfortable, huh? Really? Exactly. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> that means that means there are other things in the character that would be that comfortable that fast. And yeah, no, you did the right thing. Sorry. Absolutely. I've been I've been single too long to even hey, accept hey, that. Club. It don't matter how long you've been single, you got common sense, love. Uh, disgusting. Yeah, common sense will 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 weed out a whole bunch of of pretenders. Yep, it sure will. It sure will. So <clears throat> we're gonna wrap up number one. L I did see you have four ones in, in your name. You're stable with your leadership. You're stable with, with um, uh, yeah, four is a number of stability. So you have four ones in your name. You're stable with you. You're stable with it. It's balanced. It's, it's equally apportioned. It's balanced. Well, who? Uh, for Miss Kane, yeah. yeah oh, she Kane. put in the chat that she had four ones in her name. Oh, okay. Um, so, so when you are riding around if you're in your car if you have a car if you even if you if you're watching something um there's numbers all around get in the practice of adding up the numbers like today is a nine one plus eleven plus two plus two plus two so one plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two is 11, is a nine. That's nine. When I look over there, I'm like, oh, that's nine. Like right now is 11, two, the time where I'm sitting is 11, two. I don't, I don't see 506, I see 11, two. When I see 88, I see 16, seven. When I see uh, 916, 16, seven. 97, 16, 7. I, I see th these numbers, I see them all the time. All the time. They're always around me. Always around. 22, 4 is always around. The, the numbers in your name, you should always, always be seeing those numbers or the combination of those numbers. So practice adding up numbers. At least start with the, if you're in your car, start adding up the numbers of a license plate. Don't worry about the letters. Just add the numbers. Add the numbers. Add the numbers of address. It's normally three or four or five of those. Just add those numbers and break them down. Be able to break them down. 23, 5, 16, 7, 18, 9, 17, 8. Just be able to break them down. And then you will begin and do practice with your own numbers. Practice with your first name, your middle name, your last name. Just practice and, and get familiar with what they are. Okay, I'm not driving now. What important numbers can I write down and work on now? So I'm not driving, I'm still at work. So what um, numbers is most important that you think I can do right now? <laughs> I'm gonna do you better than that. I'm going to tell you to write this chart down. Okay. Write down AJS and put mm -hmm. the number one by that. Okay. BKT and put the number B two. B, 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 K, and T. T, okay. Put the number two. Uh -huh. C, L, and U. Uh -huh. Put the number three by uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. D, M, V. D as in dog? D as in dog, M as in Mary, V as in Victor. Okay, four. Put the number four. E N W is five. <clears throat> F O X, Fox is six. Uh -huh. P G Y, seven. H Q Z, eight. And I N R is nine. I and R is nine. Uh -huh. And you add up your own name. Oh, oh I'll do that. Oh, I like okay. I'll come up with it. That. That's that's a good exercise for you. Okay, thank you. 
I'm sorry. I'm always, you know, our time frame it, it, is always off. No, no apologies. This is a no apology zone. We don't apologize for for life, for living our lives. It, it, it you you have you have a myriad of things going on in your own life, uh, Jolene. Uh, so it's all good. That's that's what I'm here for. I'm here to. I, I do have a question. And I have an answer. You remember last year, right before my birthday, and you gave me a really good prediction on what happened and what you know the good, really good things. Is this still there? I mean, it, I, I, good things happen. I'm not going to be a, an appreciator. Good things happen. But am I still in that realm of getting, I mean, in that realm? <laughs> or is that over? Um, have you had another birthday since then? No. Then you're still in it. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, it, it's for your whole birthday. For oh, okay, your whole okay. birth year. It's for your for whole birth year. year. Oh, the birth year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Any any comments? Any questions? Anybody got anything they'd like to add today? All right. Well, this has been On the Sevens with Pythias B. Metatron, where we come to awaken, ascend, and expand. We do go through the 88 steps into our mastered self. And I guarantee you, if you keep On the Sevens with Pythias B. Metatron, a part of your soul's journey, somewhere along the way, your mastered self awaits you. I want to help you unlock the cosmic code of your name and birth date so that you can start happening to life instead of life happening to you. Whenever I say goodbye, it's not meaning as in forever. It just means until our next show. Goodbye for now. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night.